Three, two, one, go. Here is our genius hour project. Let's start off by explaining the base of this project. This is a coding project for mini games in Minecraft. In this project, <laughs> we have made many different mini games, such as Sumo, Kit PvP, Arena PvP, Parkour, Jail Escape, a Death Coaster, Boat Racing, in a TNT arena with other entertainment like the zoo. To get to all of these different mini games, you will start in the lobby and choose which game you you want to play with your friends. Now we will explain how the games work. Sumo is when you're on a platform and you have to knock off the other person off the platform until the last man is standing. Kit PvP is a PvP where you select different kits and complete with and compete with your friends in PvP. Arena PvP is PvP with either iron armor, gold armor, or diamond armor with an option of slow falling potions. Parkour is when you have to climb and compete complete the course with many different obstacles. Jail escape is when you put your friends in jail and annoy them while they try to break out. The death coaster is a crazy roller coaster that you will die with different jumps and going through lava. The TNT arena was made if you like blowing up stuff or each other. Boat racing is boats on ice and you go through a huge racetrack and whoever can get to the end first wins. And finally we made a zoo. If you want to see different animals in the in their remakes of their natural habitat. This zoo will have animals like pandas, polar bears and many more. It may not seem like a lot of coding, but it was a decent amount of coding in this project. Unnoticeable things, just as basic as teleporting you from the lobby to different mini games, include coding. There is over a hundred command blocks with over a hundred lines of code, just to teleport you and give you items. There is also a lot of redstone work, which is like electrical, that was done to activate the command blocks to start the lines of code. This was not just made for school, it was also made to be usable by us and the people in the Education Edition community. This is version 1 of possible multiple versions. The next version, if we keep working, will for sure add the bridge and enchanted PvP to the game. This project was not only just coding. There was a lot of architecture that was done to build all these things. We believe that coding is the future and that if we can learn it now, that it will really help us in the future. We definitely learned a lot about coding in Minecraft. Going into this, Arson and Jaden had no previous knowledge of coding in Minecraft, and they have blown me away with what they have done. Things they coded were instant kill lava, opening fence door, and doing titles on the screen saying things when you join different minigames. The way that we have learned it is by watching videos and getting to know what does what and by the end, we could do most things by ourselves with no tutorials. Me and Arson have done very little coding before this project. Now with Brendan's help and a little bit of research, we can code very well. We have worked for two months now on this project and it might not seem very exciting, but it is really crazy what we did and I didn't think it would turn out so well. It is almost a publishable map. And I hope one day we can all learn about coding because it is a very enjoyable thing.